All right, so to start this off, you're going to click on the assignment um, and then open up in a new window. And then click download, and it should pop up right here. You can just click right on it. And if it doesn't do that, then you're going to want to go into Photoshop and uh, manually open it, and I'll show you how to do that. I guess I'm on beta. Just go to File, Open, and it should be in your Downloads folder. So you go to Downloads, and there it is. First thing you want to do is save it in your Creative Cloud folder if you haven't done this already. And I'm just going to put JGMLE. I like to do a little underscore. Balance examples. All right, so for our symmetrical. Let me make sure I ran the Gelman drawing tablet app first and gotta plug this in. Okay. So my drawing tablet is oh, giving me some problems. Let's try this again. So for symmetrical, you're gonna draw something. I'm just gonna use a maybe a hard round Pressure size, just use that nice brush. And I'm gonna choose some symmetry right here. So on this little butterfly on the top, I'm gonna to choose vertical, move it halfway around here and hit enter, and you'll get some symmetry. You know, a lot of people like to do a butterfly because that's like what the standard example is, but you feel free to be creative, do whatever you like. You could do a creature, a creature, so like a frog, or maybe something like that, or whatever it is. Um, I would like you to uh, color it in. If you want to use multiple layers for this, you can. Um, but yeah, get a little creative and have some fun with it. And... Let's move on to asymmetrical. Sorry, my cord is being ridiculous. So I'm gonna go to the butterfly right here and turn symmetry off. So for asymmetrical, whatever I draw on this side, don't make it the same uh, on the other side. You want it to be maybe one big thing and some small things over here to balance it out. But don't just draw blobs. I want you to actually draw something. I did a lot of, a lot of people do like a scene in the forest or a car driving by or whatever you want it to be. Just make sure it's not symmetrical, asymmetrical. So there's not equal on both sides like this one is. But it still needs to be balanced. The next one is radial. The default is five, but you can do more segments if you want. I'll do 12 just to show you what that looks like. Shrink this thing down, put it where you want it to go, and hit enter. And now you can do all sorts of cool things. You could do a flower. You could just do a cool bunch of designs. Uh, whatever it is you want. If you want to color it in, it might be better to do that on a lower layer so that the colors will fill in there a little easier. You should only have to color one. Look at that, beautiful. When you're done, just hit the symmetry off, but make something elaborate and pretty, and you know, you could do some shading, whatever you want to do. Mosaic, I'm gonna stop using my template pretty soon because it is being stupid. Mosaic is just like a series of dots, so, uh, or other things. So maybe you want to do like, I don't know, a, a solar system or star field or something like that. So let me get like, this is going to be my background. And maybe for this one, I just want to do like some stars. So mosaic means that it's balanced, but it's going to have like a bunch of like little things all around. Maybe I'll get some other crazy colors in here. And maybe I'll do like the moon. 
probably putting some smoothing on here would be a good idea. Uh, and then, you know, to balance that out, maybe I'd have like the sun. But the point is, you have to have a lot of things going on for it to be mosaic. And maybe I got like a spaceship coming in here. That's my spaceship. Isn't that beautiful? And you got maybe like a galaxy over here. But there's just a lot of stuff. You got stuff everywhere just kind of balancing out. Maybe you got like some shooting stars, some lines. Just getting a little creative. Um, a bunch of stuff everywhere. Or maybe like you just decide, I'm just going to get a little obscure and kind of fun with this and get into like maybe some different brushes like i don't know i'll go with this one and you just want to do something abstract so maybe you like pick some colors you really like like i don't know orange and blues and shoot